Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. For today's show and tell, I have this guy right here. It is the Sphero 2.0. Now, if you don't remember the first Sphero, we tested it a couple years ago, and basically what it is is a hamster ball robot. There's a little robot inside this hard polycarbonate shell that rolls around and makes the sphere roll and you can roll around your house, torment your pets, small children, do all sorts of fun stuff. The new Sphero is a little bit faster and a little bit more powerful and brighter than the previous versions. This one moves at about seven feet per second, which is uh, about twice the speed of the original Sphero. And it also has some new software that allows it to corner, turn, and just generally handle obstacles better. For example, the new Sphero can run over cables and small bumps on the floor, it can go up steeper inclines, all sorts of stuff like that. Also in the box are a couple of small plastic ramps and other things you can kind of play with with the toy robot as you're driving around your living room or maybe even backyard. Now there's a third accessory that is a silicone knobbly rubber condom maybe for the Sphero. It hooks on the outside and lets you go on, uh, well off-road rather. Uh, let's just take it for a spin and show you what it can do. So on the floor in front of me I have three Spheros. They're all connected to different devices but they're all running the new app which adds the RPG elements and the kind of grinding and leveling and all the stuff that I think is pretty lame actually. The first one over here, this guy that's moving right now, the red one, is the original Sphero. I'm controlling it with an iPad. The next guy over, the blue one, is the second gen Sphero that I killed by putting it in a swimming pool. Uh, it miraculously came back to life. He's here mostly just to show what default speed and default and brighter colors look like. And then the green one is the Sphero 2.0 that actually works and is, is fully speed and I've leveled it up some. I haven't leveled it up all the way because that would take about eight hours and I'm not into that. Um, but this is, I think, two tiers of the speed, three tiers of speed of five leveled up. Each tier takes about five minutes uh, for one point and now I have to spend three points in order to level. Okay, so first you set its orientation to you by putting this blue dot facing you. So I'm gonna aim it toward me, I'm over here. Um, and then you use this, the, the D-pad on, on the screen to uh, go relative to that direction. So moving right on the stick goes right, moving left on the stick goes left. I just said that backwards, but you get the gist. Forward goes forwards, back goes back. The new one is much more maneuverable than the old version, and it's also a lot faster. So even leveled down without being fully leveled up, I'll, we'll do a little race here. So they should both go the same way. Fingers crossed. And we'll come back. Oh, I, this brings up another one of the things that I think is really unfortunate about the new software, is in order to, to play with it, it's gonna smack into things. Each ball has a limited amount of shields. When you smack into the walls or objects or feet or other spheros or whatever enough, then you deplete the shields and then you have to stop and do that stupid rotating thing again. So it basically it punishes you for having fun because the nice thing about these is they're indestructible and you can crash into things and nothing happens really. In order to play the, to get to the maximum performance out of the new Sphero, you have to level up four different components. Boost, shield, speed, and colors. I already talked about shields a little bit. Boost is this thing on the left, on the right side of the screen rather. Uh, it lets you go faster for a limited period of time. I think it's to manage battery life, if anything. Um, but you, let me show you what that does. So here I'm going to the right, I'm gonna hit boost. It's not a massive amount faster, but it is noticeable when you're comparing one to the other. Um, shields let you take more damage without having to uh, reset. Colors let you make the colors get brighter. So for example, on the swimming pool Sphero, I've leveled up the colors. So I can go into the second ring of the color sphere, or third ring of the color sphere, rather than the first ring. It's very exciting stuff. You can do tricks. It comes with a ramp and a catch, so you can actually drive things. We'll, we'll do a trick right now. I'm gonna go off the ramp into the bin. So that's pretty much the Sphero. The, the new software that they released last week to coincide with the launch of the new 2.0 version of the Sphero really sucks. Uh, it makes a lot of the stuff that was fun right out of the box not fun at all. Uh, and, and I mean, it's a big disappointment. Nobody wants to buy a toy to, and have to play it for eight hours when it sucks in order to get to the part where it's actually kind of neat. By the time you get to the, the eight hour grind that you have to get through, it seems like to get all of the points, you're going to be done with this thing and never gonna wanna use it again and you'll want your $130 back. So I would advise waiting until they fix the software. I'm sure people are raising hell right now. Um, until then, Sphero 2.0, it's kinda lame. See you guys later.